Hey guys, it's me. I just had to show you this box of goodies for um, one of the ladies. This kit has already sold. Um, it's claimed, I should say. So I just had to show you how things come together and how I just toss stuff in um, for each kit. It's a pretty big box. So I'll be back once I have it all taken out and organized. All right, guys, I got, got it somewhat organized. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, this kit is already spoken for. Um, and let me start with this little bowl. So this has got some cute little pieces in it. And I found these down in a bag of something. I mean, that's just how I get my stuff. And I'm not going to ramble on and on and on and on and on. Because you get the gist of it. You watch one of my video, videos and you get the gist of of um, what the kits are about all right and i put this little organza bag in here because the kit is you'll see the book in a minute i'll show it to you here in the in the second and you'll see why i have this beautiful cobalt blue or electric blue i don't know what kind of blue that is but it sure is pretty um why that's in there and there is some of lisa at pin and hook and um, before the day is out, I will send every buyer a coupon code where you can go in and use 20% off in her shop. She's on Etsy, P-E-N-A-N-D-H-O-O-K, Lisa at Pen and Hook on Etsy, and I'll link it below. And the best, the best, the best sari silk ever, ever, <laughs> ever. And then you've got this pretty rickrack here in blue and some blue and red um, floss to sew in your signatures or sew onto your pages and some little roses and this little pearl strip here and some little tickets a die cut modern a vintage ticket and a little charm that says love okay now the reason why this kit is slightly a lot different is because one this is a repeat buyer and two um she's been married for a long time to the same man of course and i love that okay um so her kit is sort of especially tailored to that whole theme of love and just being married for being with a partner um for for a long time and I certainly can't appreciate that. My husband is my first husband, and so he's my first and only husband. Um, so it's it it's it's joyous. It really is. I have to say. Um, so she's got some purple lace, and there is one of the um, lovers there, sort of under the tree or by the bank side there. I don't, you know, I love this, but I love. Um, I don't know if they're actually. I guess you can you can interpret it how you will, but I was noticing earlier the little um, mascotas, mascotas animals, <laughs> the little lamb, um, or the little lamb and other little animals around. There's some on another part of this, but I just thought that was so beautiful and sweet, like. And then she gets some of this um, a cherub fabric. This is that real heavy duty. Uh, almost like upholstery fabric. That's what it feels like to me. But she gets some of that. And there is the last, I think, of the doilies. I've shared them as, as stretched them out, I think, as far as they can go. This one has a little bit of stain on it here. You can kind of see there. But I think she'll be able to use it. And I know you guys make pockets, and I see people... Um, making pockets with these and all sorts of page embellishments so and then she'll get a big gigantic piece of these lovers so she'll have lots of options and if she decides to use some of this for other projects um you know that's kind of the whole thing so she's you know got these lovers here and then you know the big florals easter mother's day you know springtime florals the bows um, and that's a pretty large piece for her there. Okay, and then she's got 
um, some of this blush lace in case you didn't see that in another video and it's pretty wide all right and she's got a beautiful blue hanky and this is a big piece this is kind of like that peach piece that peach hanky that I put in one kit um, um, earlier so she's got some of that and that's always pretty in journals when you sew that right on the pages you know with some sorry silk down those edges mm -hmm. I know what y'all be doing I watch I see I learn <laughs> So there's that and here is some blue and some red hot red and then this look at that isn't that a pretty rose this is um or I think that's a rose or a tulip I don't know I think it's a it's a rose that's, a, that's what I would say it's a rose um, but I love this and I thought this would be really pretty um, sort of you know with again any kind of blue rickrack or sorry silk down those edges and you've just got a beautiful beautiful uh match up there or not match up right so there's that and that's a sheer piece um she can even use some portion of this for a pocket this is an old curtain i got that and i've shared that i've spread that out as far as it can go i think i used the last piece in these kits there's some purple remnants All right, and there is some of that grungy, grungy, orangey, not orange, but salmon pink lace and some of the blue doily pieces. And then here's some of the purple lavender. I always call it purple, but it's lavender lace. And then here is some pretty white lace for her. Okay, so that's her fabric textile um part elements for this and then paper there's the map page and i don't pick map pages i just pick them randomly guys i don't pick anything specific because you guys are going to chop it up and cut it up and sometimes i mean if it's a custom order i could probably search for something specific but and then here is some of the let me scoot you over just a little bit there we go um avocado dyed paper very dramatic very beautiful i'm addicted to this stuff and this is great for anything i think any uh, thing there's this large ledger paper this one is blank this side is <clears throat> And this side has um, some writing on it, lots of writing, 1951. And I put that blue pink in there, pattern paper, music paper in German. This lovely, colorful red um, image of, you know, guys sort of galloping along on their horses. Um, and I'm pretty sure, and this is vintage, it's a, it comes from an old art book, a vintage art book. I'm pretty sure um, this is, um, she, she can interpret this how she will because it's, um, you know, got all kinds of images that may not have anything to do with Valentine's. But this one says she gives to the survivors of her battles. And I love the hand and the key. And of course, it's about battleground, perhaps, but I love the reds in that. I think it's so pretty. And then she's got a cover of that calendar. And there's the date of all those pages, 1996. Um, so, and that's card stocky. That even makes a cool TN. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's see, she's got some music paper with the cupids on it, and this is a little different. All of them are kind of different. Well, most of the, I shouldn't say that, most of them are the same, but every now and then there'll be one. Let's see what this one is titled. This one is called The Slug and the Slot Machine. 
and I just spread these out, you know, wherever, randomly wherever. This is a blue um, vintage, not from my from my aunt's. I keep wanting to say my Tia. Not from my aunt's, um, or my Tia. Not from her collection. This is from, this is an old church collection, you know, where the ladies get together. There's green, green eggs and ham, tiny turtle salad, candlestick salad, sweet potato bowls caramel apples I love that I think that and it's kind of grungy around the edges too and that's from an ideal book in blue and purple and here's a piece of red just to give that vintage valentine feel and this is a nice piece of um, blue soft blue uh, linen paper or resume paper but it's vintage it's old I found that in that office um, in the office of one of the, the houses that my mom and I went to the estates and that's a gray piece and you'll see why the colors are muted sort of except for these popping blues and reds there's a blue very very useful file folder and when I say this is blue I mean it's blue <laughs> um, I don't know where I got these file folders from but I'm sure they're not hard to find um, I just pick things up as I see uh, fit when I'm out scavenging around. That's a pink piece of paper, a mob. And this one is Keep the Home Fires Burning, honey. Mm -hmm. Stars of the Summer Night and Melody and Allegretto, I guess. Everything to me, if it's not English, it's in Spanish. Um, I took three quarters of Latin and did very well but ask me if i remember eh sort of <laughs> enough to teach my courses my classes i yeah it was very difficult latin was hard um that's one of those old vintage um papers from the planner the old planners from the estate sale and here is some beautiful grungy brown hearts and poems and there's a lady you'll see why I put green in here and she's sort of um, picking flowers there very lovely image and these are lovers this is from a vintage book beautiful happy couple there and here are some sonnet poems sonnets these are different um different ones and there's cupid there and this comes from love's labor love's labors lost shakespeare i thought that was really appropriate and some dictionary and some more dictionary in a larger font bigger size um, and lettering and this I have to uh, give her this piece this is one of my all-time favorites um, it's gorgeous look at that isn't that beautiful and I've coffee dyed it and I use these girls in my sewing kits I use them uh, definitely in my shabby chic kits um, they're kind of all over the place and you can see where I've um, scanned the image and coffee dyed it and left the little edges of the original paper and then it's got some fabric, uh, not fabric, but um, petty, uh, not petticoats. What do you call these guys? Uh, oh, shoot. I can't remember. But anyway, you know, it's got some of the little things um, that they would put over their, their dresses. I don't know what you call those. I forgot. So she gets that lovely piece. I'm very proud of that piece. Uh, let's see. And there's some green. Olive green, my favorite color. And here's a big piece here. Happiness adds and multitudes as we divide it with others. And that's an old vintage paper. I think that's from an ideal book, guys. I'm almost certain. And look at these lovely ladies. This comes from a 1947-48 yearbook. Um, now the only way I knew to even to think about, I've always had a knack for paper and books and, you know, putting things together. Um, but 
one of the reasons why I picked up this 1947 yearbook um, is because of Tim Holtz and his Tim Holtz people and those booth pictures and the, yeah, that's the only way I would even think. And you guys using those in your journals. That's my big baby outside barking, guys. He's still feeling pretty good. We're keeping him nice and happy and comfortable. He's easy to give his medicine to. My basset hound is a lot more stubborn. Oh, my God. He smells everything. Um, whereas my, uh, our first dog, he, he'll, he eats everything. He, it's just like, yeah. Um, okay. This is another ideal image. I think they're out there kind of giving the cats a hard time today or the cats are giving them hard time. The cats just look at them like, you know what? Screw you dudes. <laughs> it's really funny. I have some videos. One of these days I'll post, just randomly post some stuff on Instagram. It's so hilarious. Those cats looking at my dogs. They're like, you know what? <laughs> Please. Um, yeah. Okay. That's more dictionary. And I added in a little bit more Shakespeare. And this is from Anthony and Cleopatra. So that's kind of a wild sort of, a, you know, very, very um, lusty scene, I would say. Very unusual, right? Even a little bit mythological somewhat. And here's some blue vintage book page paper. And I just threw that in there for fun. Um, um, she'll be able to, uh-oh, now they're scratching on the door to come in. She'll be able to cut that up and make tags with it or, you know, just use it as... Um, random pieces and the queen of hearts and a doily i love these i wish i could find more of these they're so pretty they're velvety like they feel so good um i don't know where and there is um vintage wrapping paper with bells on it that I thought was appropriate. Hang on guys, let me go and, and let them in. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that guys. They were barking, um, yeah, okay. Anyway, so um, this is a uh, vintage uh, wallpaper. And that's really pretty. I love the browns and look at the little waterfall and the little bench. And there's a blue heart. This is a, a scrap piece from an old um, National Geographic, and I just thought that would be fun to put in there, the little blue heart. We create chemistry just for fun. And here's an old, very vintage, um, um, oh, what do you call this? Frontispiece or a plate, book plate. Um, and it says Princess Eboli. And from the painting by Von Remberg. So I thought that was really pretty. She looks like she's in love. And she's playing the lair there. That's pretty cool. And this is another very vintage um, marble effect from an old book page. And you can see that yellowing around there. And this lady is rocking the heck out of that red dress right look at that reminds you of your grandma saying don't show too much <laughs> just show a little bit not too much <laughs> uh let's see there's some of the stamp paper and i love this image here and that one there There's that. And then look at this pretty doily. I love this. I can't remember where I got these either, but they are gorgeous. These I found in, um, I don't remember, guys. Some things I can remember where I got it from and some things I can't, but those are vintage. Um, dictionary page. Modern. Don't go baking my heart. You're extra nice. <laughs> so cute. And there's some of that vintage ladies and this lovely piece here. A popcorn bag. Vintage paper that smells vintage. It's old. 
writing paper in pink. Um, this comes from my great auntie's estate, my auntie's house. Layer cake, peanut butter cookies, angel food, red devil's food cake. I thought that was appropriate. And there's an image there. I like that for the green. And this old vintage image here. This is from an art book um, as well. But it's pretty, um, you know, uh, eccentric, I should say, I guess. Because it's got, yeah, it's just very different. Um, this probably would be great even in the Gothic book. Uh, the Gothic book. The Gothic kit. Um, but I put it in there. I tried to vary things up a little bit. I love this image. And that's an original um, from a 1960, 50-something book. Isn't that cute? 50s. And there's a map page. Uh, again, very different texture from the map page under here. Book pages. More small dictionary. Um, there's another couple there. And this is the same couple that's kind of happened throughout the whole uh, Valentine Kids series because they started out young and then they grew all together. And, and that was a cookbook, uh, a red envelope. Come on. And an image here. This comes from one of the magazines from my mother's uh, books that she gives me, magazines that she gives me, and I recycle them. And I love the images. I think they look great. Um, backed on some coffee dyed paper or index card. A purple and pink 1927 uh, letter. Ephemera. Uh, crossword, meet me at the altar. <laughs> um, I love this image here. They're cutting a cake. Love the purples and greens. Um, and you'll see why here in a second. And there's um, an Enchantment uh, General Motors ad there, and I love that. There's a green in, uh, index recipe card, and this guy's trying to talk it up. All right, working it, working it, working it. Love that. This, I was going to hold on to it um, and scan it for perhaps next year, but I decided to go ahead and let it go. It's the original because it's got like, this comes from an etiquette book, but it's called a, um, oh my God, guys, I can't remember the name of it and I don't know why. I've, I've given up pages of this before, but it's sort of like a book of etiquette and, um, Things to plan for dinners and social. It's for socialites. I'll just put it like that. So, you know, but I put this one in here because of the Valentine uh, lunch. It's got a Halloween supper, bridal shower lunch, and St. Patrick's lunch, and picnic lunch. That's really cool. Um, there's an image there of some sweeties. And, 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 and. Let's see. I've got more here. Um, some die cuts for fun. Those are modern. Um, this is really cute. This is February 1924. And it's just a um, piece from a card that I had. I got. So I thought that was really pretty. And a pink modern a doily heart. This hard cardboard um, cabinet card and I think she looks lovely with her flower and look at her little heart necklace she can scan that if she wanted to some ephemera and book pages in blue I love this she's uh, dropping a flower or something down to the sky some of these recipe cards in blues and greens and purple some wine and this is on an old um one of those 1980 70 card these thingies these are for sure 70s and this one i'm not sure but i put it in there for romance and let's see there's uh, my valentine my to my wife on valentine's day perfect and I love this teal envelope. Looks simple, but look at that pretty green when you open it up. It's a mint green with that pretty teal blue. That's gorgeous. Love that. 
Um, and then this is an old Valentine card um, that is not signed and it's got them starting off in the sun, then the moon late at night, um, in the winter. And you might hear some noise guys um, outside in the back. Um, that's why my dogs were barking at first at the cats and then, um, okay, so this is, um, now they're headed sort of, you know, into the future. I'm not going to read the card because I'll be here forever. But isn't that pretty? And look at that old vintage uh, envelope. Gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. Um, there's one of the paper dolls. And one of my um, avocado dyed envelopes. And um, I made that. And I like it. This card is uh, from the 70s. I think I cut the 1970s off, but I've shown these before. I have a ton of those. I found those in the trash. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh-oh, guys. Hang on. I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. My husband, we're making um, quesadillas tonight, but it's the quesadilla that you make with masa. That's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And so he was asking me which um, which cheese. So anyway, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else goes in here? Went in here. I love this uh, teal and green image. And you'll understand why her kit is mostly blues and purples and greens and teals. Um, and I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. It's a surprise. There's a blue old bingo card. And this is an original. And this is birthday wishes, bright days in store with peace and well joy evermore, the best of health. Um, and this does not have a date. Oh, well, yes, it does. 1910. I suppose. I'm, I, I'm assuming that that's the date. And then I'm finally letting go of my old, old, old 1925 letters. Um, I've had these for so long and I've hoarded them, um, but I'm letting them go. Um, I can't even remember where I got these from. It looks like the stamp is about to come off of there, yeah. So, but they are so pretty. Um, and I think I've scanned some of these. I don't know if I've scanned this specific one, but they are gorgeous. And so I thought I would put that ephemera piece in there, vintage piece in there for her. And then she also gets this glorious, beautiful, um, very, very interesting embossed coral and mint green little cherub sitting here. There's his little wings uh, writing and cutting up a heart. Um, let me see if you can see that. Can you see that, guys? Isn't that cool? And this is a very, very interesting uh, feel. It has a very interesting feel to it. Um... It does not have a date on it, but you know it's old, and it's very, very pretty. Um, I love that that coral and mint green um, there. So she'll get that original, and some tickets, and more cards, and I'll just go through these. And here is a leaf here with some hearts. And that's an old dated 1972 uh, tarot card. There's um, El Musico and La Chalupa. Um, whoops, sorry. I'm out of frame there. Those are really fun. And I put this in here. This is sort of just a little personal touch. And there are some buttons that got left out over the from the pile over there. And these are all intact and they're vintage, made in Japan. And they're kind of a grayish color. And then quickly, um, more of my uh, cards, handmade cards, uh, journaling cards. And this one, a king and queen. And those are old pieces 
And this one, let me show you. I think I showed it in the other videos. Isn't that cute? The little sailor boy. So precious. That one. A flash card. Some money. And blues. And green. And pink. And white. And... Okay, I think that's it. And there's another of uh, Diane H's... Um, stamps that she gave me with the journal that I bought from her it's really pretty and so those are going in there just like that there's the little inchy tabs fabric pieces that you can use for tabs and here's a vintage very old vintage um, man and woman looking like they're you know in love or a couple you never know you can interpret that you can use that as the writing prompt right um, and there's a, a neat um, ace of hearts in blue. This is a modern piece. And I put that in there just for fun. And this, oh my gosh, I think this is the last of these cards I found years ago. And they are so old. They're grungy a little bit. You can't really see it on the camera. Um, but these are just beautiful. They're teal and royal blue and gold. And there's some even some soft um, ivory color in there, just gorgeous. Um, and this is where um, somebody was careless and let them set up in water. And so, but some, you know, I've I've put them all in kits. Um, they still are so lovely. And this is, I think, the last one of these I have. And there's an index card in pink, some ephemera, and this guy <laughs> look at her isn't she dressed so cute so cute you can't afford not to be my valentine girl that's what it says it says to aunt olga and uncle alex love that so cute um just a magazine image of some brushes and this is an old vintage um cabin with some greens and corals and blues um, and gray and I just love that uh, and that's unsigned that's old stuff that came from the last estate sale a lot of the stuff did something most of it did well a good deal of it did I'll just put it that way because I have a lot of stuff guys there's some blue buttons and some purple and green tabs those are from a haul of leftover paper pads that I found I did a video of those and um, I love the purples and the greens for her book and there's a French card that says heart. And then the book, I got this. Let me show you some. Well, here's some extra images. And these didn't come with the book. These did, I believe, here. So the book I bought from Diane H. And she's uh, Etsy. She's the Pink Paper Cottage or the Pink Cottage. I'll link her below. She has the best old vintage ephemera. Oh my gosh, she has so much stuff. And then she, beautiful uh, vintage ephemera. And then she makes her own ephemera. Her books are just delightful. They, you talk about books that really, really collect and have ephemera um, in them. She just, it, it's amazing. So I bought this book from her. She posted a bunch of books online and saying, does anybody want, you know, me to make a journal? Um, this is how I came about uh, to getting my journal, purchasing my journal from her. And I also bought this book from her. Um, now, it does have a little split right there, but you can still work with it, right? It's just beautiful, and it's Riley Love Lyrics. I think it's absolutely stunning um, for this kind of Valentine um, uh, segment. Isn't that beautiful? So there's that, and then she included, um, this is just some blue end papers from an old vintage book I included, but these are the pages from the book um, that she's included, and it's dated 1905, and you guys will have to check her, her, um, her YouTube channel out for certain, and definitely her Etsy store. My book is so adorable. Oh my gosh, it's it's just great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So these were really, really um, cool pieces to get from her. And I am grateful and thankful. And um, yeah, sometimes, you know, I take a pause and I love to support my fellow um, 
Etsy ends for sure. Um, and I, you know, I, I love doing that. So anyway, um, so this kid is already spoken for. It's for a young woman who has been married for a long time. Congratulations. <laughs> um, and so I will be back with more kits uh, that are not spoken for yet. I have two that are spoken for. The pure pink. Oh, and I sold the rustic uh, red or the tattered red. Um, and I've got to collect a few more things with those and I'll show them and then I got to get them shipped off. So look forward to that, guys. Okay, thank you for stopping in. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day or night or evening, wherever you are in this beautiful, 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 beautiful world, our lovely earth. I hope we don't destroy it with um, big talks and nuclear weapons because um, that doesn't do anybody good. Those those kinds of weapons don't have names or no colors or um, they don't know history. <laughs> they just go, right? Um, and so anyway, I hope things can get better and we can show some love around the earth, around the world. So anyway, bye guys. Thank you. Adios. Sale pues.